Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Bob Shop. We're still upstairs, The Bob Shop still isn't finished. Um, but we are continuing our series with the all grain brewing system that we're building. This video is all about the sparge arm. I'm going to be using the fly sparging technique uh, for my all grain system. Um, nothing wrong with batch sparging or all the other ways that people do it. I just fancy doing a sparge arm because it was a nice another little project to do. Um, and the way I'm going to do it, I've got my mash tun lid. And because my mash tun, which is here, it doesn't have a lip around the inside of there, which I could rest the sparge arm on. Um, so rather than using that, and also it's not a perfect shape around the inside, it's got little semi-circular indentations here in the moulding. So getting one to friction fit inside of this rectangle would be quite difficult. It's also not very tapered, so it would be quite tricky to make one the precise size to fit in there, and it wouldn't be precise anyway because of those little semicircles. So I'm going to make one to fit inside of my mash tun lid. As you can see, it's quite nicely recessed. So I'm going to make it to fit inside here. It's going to have three longer bars, and obviously joined at the ends, uh, with as many little one millimetre holes as I can fit in as possible. And then I'm going to put a T-piece in the centre bar here that, that faces up the way, and it will come out through the top of the lid here with a little bit of pipe on it, and then all I've got to do is stick my hose on there from a HLT, and bingo, we have sparging on top. And it will be fixed in there, it will stay in there, a couple of little saddle clips or something like that, and that will hold it in there permanently. Um, but it can always be taken apart if it needs to be and cleaned. So I'm not soldering any of the joints, a cup of pipe, a bag of elbows and T-pieces, a selection of those. So yeah, we're not soldering any of these joints. What we're going to do is use the plumbing, plumbing crimps and we're just going to slightly overlies all of these joints. So we're just going to crimp them a tiny bit to make them slightly off round and that will make them a friction fit, nice and snug and hold them together. It doesn't matter particularly if a little bit of water seeps out because the whole thing's going to be full of holes anyway. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's not a perfect seal on the joints, as long as the thing stays together and doesn't fall to pieces inside the mash tun, that's the main thing. So, we're going to crack on. We're going to use this as a guide, obviously, measure it out, build a thing, job's a good one. You may see another pair of hands or two in this video. I've recruited my dad for the evening and he's come to help me do a few bits and bobs. So, uh, say hello Pete. Hi folks. Center arm, T piece in the middle, T piece either end. You know how much joy I've had with drilling holes so far, and I'm about to drill a hole through my mash tin lid. Mash tin lid, so. Uh, Well, the deed is now done, so if that's uh, screwed it all up, well it's done now. So 
So there we go, one spar jar, made and fitted, and we're just debating whether to put another row in, in between these, so that we have more lines of drips. I think it'd probably be worth it. So if we look at where those actually sit, they are 200 mil apart, 180. 180 is actually a little bit in from the edges. So you've not got to, you're not running down the sides particularly. Well, another two, another two um, arms wouldn't hurt. Right, so I've just marked out on this piece of the sparge arm um, where the holes are going to go. Um, Marked about a centimetre increments, going to put one use one millimetre holes, and I've just punched them. Um, and being as this is the bob shop, um, I'll show you how I've done that. Nasty old screwdriver bit and a pair of pliers. Because when we're working in the bob shop, we use whatever we've got to hand, as long as it's not horribly dangerous. Misuse of tools is de rigueur. And there we go. Lovely set of indentations ready to be drilled, bob shop style. So, sparge arm is finished, all put together with the extra bars in, and I think it's definitely worth doing. And it's going to give a much more even sparge uh, rather than just a bit on the edges and a bit down the middle. I think that's going to be great. So, I'm just going to mark these up for the holes, tap the dents in, and then I'll go downstairs and we'll drill the holes on the pillar drill to make sure they're nice and straight and square and controlled. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll see you. Downstairs. Okay, so here we are downstairs in the as yet unfinished bob shop, as you can see behind me, um, but needs must. So, got the old pillar drill out. Uh, it's one of the ones that is actually working at the moment, unlike my bandsaw. Um, so, we're going to drill all these holes in the copper piping, and uh, hopefully, it won't take too long. There's a lot of holes to drill, though. So, we will see. Thank you. <laughs> my camera's assistant. All right. Just a little tip from Bob's dad, if you can't find your chuck key, you can use a suitable round piece of steel, such as a drill bit that just fits in the chuck key hole, and a straight screwdriver. Drop the face out of the way, and leave the chuck open in such a fashion as this. If you need to change a drill bit, like so, and go the opposite direction, obviously, to tighten it up. Works every time. And you know how pesky those chuck keys are, getting lost all the time. There we go. And there we have. A finished sparge arm. Five rows of holes, holes up the sides as well. Pretty happy with that. I think that's going to do well. Okay, well that's the sparge arm done and installed into the lid of the mash tun. There you go, nice close up look. Really happy with that. 
It's a really nice snug fit around here, there's no air gap, so I'm not going to lose any heat through the hole there. Lots and lots and lots of holes, lots of runs, really sturdy. None of that soldered at all, it's all just friction fit, nice and snug fit inside that. Brilliant job. Really happy with that. So that's that done. The next job and the final job is going to be um, putting together a uh, fermentation fridge. There's no self-respecting home brewer is complete without a fermentation fridge. So that's the next project. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Bob Shop.